If you guys didn't know, uh, Warner Brothers is not looking so well. Warner Brother is not doing well at all. And because they are losing a lot of money. And I want to see, uh, see uh, what's it called again? Suicide Squad. Uh, Squad Kills the Justice League. Steam. Um, I want to see the Steam charts. I want to see how many people is playing the game. <laughs> Bro. 128 and it peaked the all-time peak was three months ago for 13,000 <laughs> oh man this game sucked and the thing is um rock steady they used to be good man what happened what the hell happened man yo risk it for the biscuit with the 10 Project Agro memberships. Holy crap, man. Everyone is going to be a member. Everyone in chat is going to be a member now. Holy crap. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are you guys you guys are too you guys are too kind, man. You guys are so freaking generous. Thank you so much. Um yeah, it's not looking good. Uh Suicide Suicide Squad kills the Justice League basically lost so much money for Warner Brothers. And it comes to us from bounding the comics. Warner Brothers Discovery admits to taking a 200 million dollar loss on Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League. I wonder why. I wonder why. Um, in providing financial confirmation to the live service title, the fact that it's live service is pretty damn bad. Live service is live service single player game is pretty damn bad. Um, title's reputation as one of the worst overall disasters in history of video games. Warner Brothers Discovery has admitted that the absolute failure of Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League has ultimately resulted in a $200 million hit to their bottom line. Yep, and of course, Batman Kevin Conroy finds himself at the mercy of Harley Quinn, and the end of the game, Harley Quinn basically shoots him in the face. Woof. Not a good plan. This concession to SSKTJL's failure was offered to WBD CEO David Zaslav and CFO Gunnar Weidenfels, I'm assuming that's how you say the name. During the company's Q1 2024 earnings call held on May 9th, the first to speak of the topic was Zaslav, who was in the opening remarks briefly noted to investors that unfortunately the studio's Q1 financials were overshadowed by the tough comp at games following the great performance of Hogwarts Legacy. You got, you're comparing this shitty ass game to Hogwarts Legacy? Are you serious? Hogwarts Legacy is not a fantastic game, but it is a great game. The story is mid. The combat is good. Exploration, good. C character customization, good. Side quests, good. Like, everything else about Hogwarts Legacy is fucking top tier besides the story, right? The fact that I'm not sure if the game has added in Quidditch yet. I'm not sure. The game should have been multiplayer. Like, that would be freaking cool. But... You know, I digress, but you're comparing it to Suicide, that game that made billions of dollars. I'm, I'm assuming billions because it sold how many copies? And plus the boycott <laughs> made it better. Uh, to Suicide Squad, because this is the quarter one of our gaming group. That's insane. You guys, yeah, that, you can't compare numbers. This is not even apples to apples, dude. It's like apples to like, like nut sacks or some shit. Last expanding on this information while breaking down the studio's quarterly financials. Widenfels would further detail the 400 million plus over, sorry, plus year over year decline in Q1 reported in the company's earnings release was primarily due to the very tough comp we faced in games against the success of Hogwarts Legacy last year in the first quarter. In conjunction with the disappointing Suicide Squad release this past quarter, which we've impaired, leading to a $200 million impact to earnings before interest, tax, depreciation, and amortization i'm assuming that's how you say it during the first quarter damn damn that's that's awful yeah harry potter is a huge ip here's the thing though dc is also a huge ip i look really really pink because of the color but yeah you have batman wonder woman superman flash green lantern all in your game and your game is suicide squad kills them all 
That is so stupid. Suicide Squad can't even take on Batman, who's a man with a lot of money. What makes you think that you can take on Superman and Wonder Woman? I'm pretty sure Wonder Woman was basically a good guy because it's, you know, you got the game is woke, of course. Extremely woke. And then you have like Femme Cell, Femme Cell Joker right over here that looks probably androgynous and probably going to make him gay or some shit like that. But hey, who knows? Brody Effer mentioned earnings released in the EBITDA for the company studio segment, which includes their video game, television, theatrical, and home entertainment operations, fell roughly 70% Damn. compared to the prior year, dropping from $607 million in 2023 to $184 million. Wow! <laughs> Man, that sucks. According to WBD, this decline was largely caused by the shitty game. <laughs> With what little damage and mitigation could be done being delivered by the theatrical revenue of Dune Part 2 and the home entertainment revenue of both Wonka and Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom. Uh, interestingly, while this is the first time the company has provided financial details regarding the fact, it is not the first time Warner Brothers Discovery has uh, copped to uh, the failure. Speaking of the investor, uh, speaking to investors during the company's previous Q4 2023 earnings call on February 23rd, Weidenfelds explained that when it came to the future of the video game segment, we are lapping the releases of Hogwarts Legacy in February uh, last year. Lapping? which saw the largest portion of its very positive financial impact in the first quarter. This year, Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League, one of our key video game releases in 2024, has fallen short of our expectations since its release earlier in the quarter, setting our game's business up for a tough year-over-year -year comp in quarter one. Man, this... Yeah, this is... That sucks for the Arkham series because this Batman here is the Batman from the Arkham series. And according to what I heard from people who has played the games, I've only played like a little bit of the first game, Arkham Asylum. Uh, people are saying that it is the definitive Batman, other than the bat and then uh, uh did, what's it called the nineties uh, animated series. This was their definitive Batman. This is the best one, or probably the best written Batman ever. And the fact that you kill him at the end of the game, and you make. Uh, this is, uh, you guys deserve to lose. Warner Brothers deserves this. It sucks for them. Yo, my nerdy home. Yo, Steph, how are you? How are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Hail, hail, my nerdy home. Hope you're doing well. But yeah, it, it definitely sucks for them, man. And, and here's the thing. I would consider myself a little bit more of a DC fanboy than I am Marvel fanboy. But this is not how you do it. This is not how you do it. I would say the only thing that's basically working for DC right now is their animated movies. Their DC animated universe movies are really, really good. Everything else sucks. Everything else just sucks donkey nipples. And yeah, it, it, it is what it is. It is what it is, man. It, it definitely sucks. Man, uh, but yo, thank you guys for hanging out. I really appreciate it. 80 people are still here. You guys are crazy. And I'm here just by myself. But yeah, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and see what people are saying in the chat. Let's see. Yeah, Suicide Squad kill Rocksteady. Yep, X, absolutely. You know what's going on? Cast is egg roll. You know what's going on, dude? Rocksteady getting exactly what it deserves. 128 players, man. That's awful, dude. That, that, that is awful. I want to wait, wait. How many people are playing uh, Arkham, uh, Arkham Asylum? Uh, <laughs> Arkham Asylum has 387 players right now. It has more than doubled the amount of Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League. Man, see, playing shitty games, current day shitty games, makes you go back to play the games that were good, right? And that's the reason why a lot of people are going back to playing like old video games, older stuff that that was good before before it became woke, right? Same thing with movies. People are going back to go watch movies before it became woke. But the fact that you have Arkham Asylum, Game of the Year edition, getting more than double the amount of players is freaking hilarious. 
Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.